Hey guys, I want to show you my homemade dirt sifter or dirt screener. Uh, I know my workshop's pretty messy, so uh, no need to comment on that. So it's basically just a big box I built using 2x4s, and it has this screener frame in the middle just hanging by bungee cords only. And it moves quite well on its own. But the actual motor that I'm going to attach to that and use as the agitator is a reciprocating saw that I got pretty cheaply at Harbor Freight, uh, $24. And with all the 2x4s and that's basically everything else, I already had the bungee cords. It's maybe about $60, including the mesh I got. And right now the reciprocating saw is just hanging down. I will attach it. I'll show you how later. So... I pretty much designed it off the size of my wheelbarrow because I want to put it underneath this. And I'll show you the front of this box is where the wheelbarrow will go into. And I have, you'll see the, it's I think it's the biggest wheelbarrow that Home Depot sells, the big gray plastic one. And I have a lot of cross bracing on this design because as I was building it, any kind of flex I noticed I went ahead and added another brace here and there and everywhere. And this whole contraption in the back that holds the reciprocating saw, its dimensions was purely based on the size of the saw, so it was custom to that. And because I knew that the sifter box would sit below the top of the mainframe, that if I attach the saw to hang underneath the the main framing the top of the main framing that it could have the blade and as you can see the blade I have cut off there with a hole in it and I'm just gonna thread it through that bolt there and I just held the reciprocator saw here underneath the the, the framing I'm sorry this is a bad angle and I and I measured out that the the handle that I have a dowel through there was, I don't know, it was about 10 or 11 inches back from the, the top main framing. And I put a level on top here, and it was about 3 or 4 inches down, so I put the dowel through there. And I have it attached to the dowel with some zip ties, pretty tight, pretty snug, because it's going to be a lot of agitation when this thing runs. And um, so, right now, as I said, it's just hanging down. I'm going to show you some quick measurements. If you want to make your own. Again, I did base it off the size of my wheelbarrow. But this one is 50 deep. And 48 inches wide. And 40 tall. And the sifter box. 33 deep and 30 wide and I actually have a second box within the other frame that fits snugly this way so it doesn't have any movement this way different size screening on either one this one's a half inch and there's the quarter inch and I have a little spacer Basically a one by two. I used just some wooden stakes I had. Screwed into the bottom so that there's a, a gap for when the matter is sitting on here. Once it goes through that screen, it has some space for it to sift around and go through the other screen. And I told you the way I was going to attach the reciprocating saw. The way I designed it this way, or the reason I did, and the well, there's another video on YouTube that inspired this. And they had the reciprocating saw. I think it was sitting on top of this part or maybe below. But it was fixed tightly to it with a bunch of um, zip ties. And it was very rigid in that this part of the, the sifter frame was not allowed to move up or down. And if there was any weight on it, it would push that side down and it would be fixed on this side because the saw was fixed. 
Now I thought that was putting a lot of unnecessary pressure on the saw and I, this being a cheap saw I didn't want to put any unnecessary pressure on it that would break the blade or burn the saw out quicker. So let me show you. I'll be right back. I'm going to go ahead and attach that saw.